Hey everyone, Alan with the Magic Minute here where we take tricks and turn them into real magic. If you're watching this video, chances are you're coming here from Scam Nation where you just saw the secret to a perfect royal flush. And I have some extra notes for you, my little commentary on the video, and I'd like to share that with you here. If you're new to the Magic Minute, my mission is to help you take the tricks that you're learning here on YouTube and show you what comes afterwards. You've got a couple of tricks, you know, a couple of uh, magic routines. How do you put them all together and how do you take that and then become a magician? Uh, I talk about all of that kind of stuff on this channel. I offer practical advice from my 12 years performing professionally and uh, I help out and I mentor people who are looking to take their next step in magic. So you see in the Scam Nation episode that I use the gambler versus magician presentation. I think traditionally this was done as a way, as kind of an expose into how card cheaters work, and that, certainly that presentation works as well. I like the idea of doing it as a gambler versus magician where you are um, showing what kind of skill a magician has with a deck of cards that you don't have to resort to trickery, and I think that adds to uh, your mystique as a magician. But of course, you're free to use any kind of pattern that you want. Uh, just my preference is the uh, gambler versus magician. I think it works really strong with this routine. So this trick is a longer one. This is something that uh, takes a little bit of time to do because you're having to deal out five hands of cards twice. It's not something I would start your routine with. You want to get somebody's attention first, kind of draw them in, and then maybe do this. And of course this has to be the first trick that you do because you have that stack. So when you're putting together your routines, it's a good idea to uh, have this be the first thing you do with cards. This pairs well with a lot of four ace routines, a lot of royal flush routines, uh, gambling demonstrations, that kind of thing. Um, but it really does have to be the first effect that you do with a deck of cards. So again, I recommend opening with something else first and then once you have their attention, leading in with this trick for cards. If you want to learn how to do a real bottom deal, I have a card right up here that'll appear on screen uh, where I've taught this. It's called how to deal cards like Richard Turner in a Richard Turner-like way. Uh, it's not actually the way that Richard Turner deals cards, but uh, the effect is the same. You get the same kind of results out of it. So if you're interested, you can click that card right there and it'll take you right to it. Because this trick is so long, you don't want to labor the first part too much. The first part is really just to set up the second part. So you want to be able to go through that as quickly as possible. Don't take too long dealing. You will lose people's attention. You want to uh, get people to understand that you are dealing off the bottom of the deck. Be very deliberate with that. Let people see you do it and do a bad job at dealing. Don't even try to hide it. And that way the second part will look that much more amazing. If you don't know anything about poker, it's a really good idea to at least familiarize yourself with the different hands and values so that way you can make relevant comments about the other hands that are being dealt. It really adds to the presentation. It uh, shows that how much more amazing the deal of the four aces and then later the royal flush is by being able to talk about how crummy the other hands are. When you deal around the second time, you want to do a really good job with making this as clean and deliberate as possible. There should be no uh, reason for the audience to think you're doing anything suspicious at all. And because of that, that's where the routine gets its strength. Without a very clean and perfect looking deal the second time, you really don't have an effect. You don't want anybody to think you're doing anything fishy. So take your, uh, do the, everything deliberately. Take your time if you're not very good with dealing yet to make sure that everything looks super fair, especially when you're dealing to yourself. Now in the video, I did a false cut. Uh, that's something that I learned years and years ago. I might teach it on this channel. I have taught how to do a false mix that looks very clean. And I will sh uh, link that up here in a card too if you want to learn that. I'll also have it at the end of this video uh, where you can click on that as a uh, video to watch after this one. You'll notice I also handed John the cards afterwards and allowed him to deal the cards. This is something that was we did for the sake of time, not to have to reset the whole deck up and do the whole thing again and watch me do it. Uh, but it also was a really cool way to uh, include this in your own presentation. You could do, you know, uh, the whole deal, whatever, then mix up the cards, you go, hey, look, I'm gonna help you deal the winning hand this time. I'm gonna set up the card so that it works for you, then do the false mix, like you can see in the card, and then hand the deck to someone else and have them deal them. That is always really, really cool because you get some of the credit for having dealt them, but they get the focal point on them, 
as having accomplished the, the actual ta-da moment. And so it's really cool to be able to share the spotlight with a spectator and allow them to have the magic happen in their hands. Always a good idea to get the magic happening in your spectator's hands. My last and most important tip is to never ever do this for your poker friends. It's not a good idea. You don't want to have people think it every time you play cards that you're doing something sneaky. If you're here, coming here from Scam Nation, I definitely want to hear from you. Say hello down in the comments, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.